morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, again, talking and, of course, walking on the beach here in Phuket, Thailand, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Yes, always Bitcoin, booty and the beach. Haha, <laughs> got him. In today's video, three amazing Bitcoin chats, an amazing trading tip, travel tip, of course, talking about some live advice and about the news. And I will probably do the news on a different place than the beach, a special place, because I want to support those people. And I probably need to go and walk that side of the beach because yes, ah, that is way better for the camera, guys, because the camera is losing even my face because of the bright sun. Now, let's jump into the charts first to see what is happening to Bitcoin. Why are we not falling below 40K and what is the next target? Let's see what the charts have to say. The first chart for today, guys, of course, that beautiful four hour chart, guys, and look, how beautiful these volume profiles are playing out. We broke that volume of 42K. We are now retesting that 42K volume. And then we need to continue this bullish move all the way up to 44K and break that next huge amount of volume. That's creating, of course, resistance. Also beautiful to see that that buy signal on the indicators again worked out perfectly. Now pulling back to that stepping line in the middle there around that Bollinger Band beautifully. If we keep supporting that stepping line, we can still stay in this straight. The moment we will break that stepping line with a full candle, that is the moment you need to get out of the market or out of this trade again, and then buy back again at the next long, guys. Beautiful chart. Let's jump into the day chart. On the day chart, we can see, of course, that we create that higher high. And of course, we always create a high low after a higher high, guys. But at the moment, this higher high looked very beautiful around that 44K level. The green line, of course, is a 44K level, guys. Now, we can see that we saw a sell signal over there. And we can also see these candles closing down below the yellow stepping line on the daily chart, which means, of course, you should have exited that long position by now and uh, enjoying your big profits that you made because of that huge run. Now, the question is, when do you enter this trade again? We can see now at the moment that beautifully that yellow stepping line is going flat and even pointing upwards. So the moment these candles start to close above the yellow stepping line again, I expect a little bit more bullish fireworks again to try and break that 44K level again. Because that is still the target, breaking 44K. If we break it, we can take it all the way up to beautiful levels like 48K, maybe even 15K, but let's keep it to 48K for now. Now let's jump into the next charts that will show you a little bit better what I'm talking about. First chart that I want to share with you guys is that yes, again, yesterday we hit a new all-time high when it comes to transaction fees. Yesterday there were almost, I, I believe it was 24 million dollar worth of fees paid on the Bitcoin blockchain. 24 million dollar of fees. This is more than we had during the all-time high in 2017. This is more than we had during the all-time high in 2021. More fees are being paid on the Bitcoin blockchain than we had at those all-time high moments. This is already showing you that this bull market could be a complete different bull market than the ones before. We are now already reaching these high fees. We didn't even experience the halving. And we didn't even experience spot ETS being approved and a shitload of liquidity coming into the market. All liquidity that will start to use the Bitcoin blockchain next to the ordinals, next to the inscriptions. So the Bitcoin blockchain is becoming more and more used. And by that, the fees are increasing. And that's why all the miners now probably buying more mining equipment, etc. Et to maybe decrease the fees like that a little bit as well. A beautiful chart, new all-time high when it comes to transaction fees in Bitcoin. Then we have this very important chart, the Bitcoin Relative Strength Index, RSI, uh, created by Plan B, of course, the Plan B colors. We can see that it's not a market completely different than the other markets because we are repeating what we did before. Just look at those yellow dots every time again around the same moments in these four-year cycles. These yellow dots started to happen in 2016, after the halving, in 2020, after the halving, and they will also happen in 2024, around that halving. There's a few yellow dots before the halving and a few after the halving, and then from those yellow dots, we will go into the orange dots, and from those orange dots, we, guys, we will go into these red dots. And these red dots are the top of the bull market. That is when you should start to exchange your 
Bitcoins again into stable coins because we could pull back or see a beautiful bear market crash. Very important chart to keep an eye on for the upcoming years, guys. Always check the relative strength index on the monthly chart. And we have this beautiful chart. We are now exactly four months before the halving. And I think it's still a beautiful moment to start to accumulate Bitcoin. And that is why I share this chart with you. Every time the same thing happens when we are a couple of months before the halving. We will go a little bit up and sideways towards that halving in April 2024. But also every time after the halving, the same thing happens as well. After the halving, we will see that green block, that huge bull run. It happened, the it happened the first time there in 2013. It happened the second time there in 2016. It happened the third time there in 2020. And it's gonna happen the fourth time now in 2024. We will see this huge green block. And that will, in my honest opinion, lead to a Bitcoin price above 100K. And if this is gonna be 110K or 120K, or maybe with all that new liquidity, 160K, all in the possibilities and i will of course also tell you on these videos you need to subscribe today when i am exchanging my bitcoin portfolio into stable coins because there will be a moment that there will be a bitcoin crash and that moment i will be already out and when that crash is finished in 2026 27 that is when i will again will get into the market I've been playing this game now for three cycles of these fours. I only missed the first cycle. So yes, I do think I can say that I know what I'm talking about. And yes, guys, this was the last shot for today. Let's jump into the trading tip. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, always, as always. Yes, it's nice to look at the short-term charts and to see if you can make some profits over there with trading. If you want to make more profits, you should probably join the Bitcoin Family VIP membership, guys. Uh, if you get the VIP membership, you will get access to our exclusive VIP groups in Telegram. Uh, of course, there we will guide you with every question that you have on a daily basis. I am in these groups daily, giving updates daily, etc. Also on the charts, also on Bitcoin, also on blockchain, also on live, on everything that uh, you need to know i will try to educate you as much as possible as a vip guys if you want to get access to the vip groups go to the bitcoinfamily.com and yes it's a paid membership help me through the winter it's tough here in thailand all that sun all that food all those massages all those beach parties it's not that simple <laughs> it's a tough life <laughs> no no it's not a tough life but if you want to join them go to the bitcoinfamily.com guys and when it comes to the charts for now guys like I teach you every time and again and again and again, you need to zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at that bigger picture. Invest, hodl, till the top, exchange into stable coins, buy back again around that bottom, multiply the amount of Bitcoins, and you will live a deflationary lifestyle with your beautiful feet in the sea water every morning while you're walking the beach. That's how simple it works. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip today, of course, again, a chart pattern. Today, we are talking about pennants and flags. Mostly, they happen after a beautiful, strong uptrend. If you see this huge uptrend, and you see a pennant, which is like a triangle, or a flag, which looks like a flag, then that uptrend is the pole, and then that flag, of course, is the flag at that pole, or the pennant on that pole, guys. Now, mostly when you see these bullish flags, or these bullish pennants, we have an uptrend, we have a flag, or a pennant, and from there, we break out to the top. So we have this pole, we have a flag or a pennant. From there, we mostly break out to the upside again. And mostly, we break out the amount that the length of the pole is. So you can just copy the pole and put it there on top of that pennant or flag. And you will see the target that we have. And of course, there's also bearish flags and bearish pennants. That is when we see a downtrend and then we see a flag forming or a pennant forming. That's a continuation to the downside. So again, there, the same rule. If you see the pole and you see the flag or the pennant, copy the pole, put it down below the pennant, guys, and you will see the target, the bearish target. So these two patterns, the pennant and the flag, bullish and bearish, are beautiful patterns to see if you will see continuation of that run or if you will see continuation 
of that move downwards. I'm walking in the water because it's really warm and it's beautiful just to have some fresh feet while talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. And sorry, yes, there was somebody passing. I missed that booty for you guys. <laughs> oh, did he stop it? Oh, God. It's just too funny. I can't stop it anymore. It's just introduced a couple of weeks ago. Every day when I'm walking on the beach, I see beaches, Bitcoin and some booty. And in some strange way, every time it happens again, there appears some booty in the videos. So uh, not offending any women or nothing at all. It is just this joke that started to grow and now became part of the videos. The booty beach. Now, let's quickly jump into the travel tip. First travel tip is reminding myself I need to get up a little bit more early to record these videos a little bit more early because then I'm not affected by the sun and the light and the heat. <laughs> the travel tip number one, Didi. Film earlier. Get up. Travel tip number two. Always when you travel in countries like Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, or like, like the, the ones that you see as a third world country, please pack yourself a roll of toilet paper. Just take a toilet paper roll, squash it very thin, put it in some plastic bag and put it in your backpack because there will be moments you will be needing that toilet paper. Believe me. And there will be moments that you don't have that toilet paper. And on those moments, you are the lucky one that will find a beautiful toilet that doesn't have toilet paper. And they always have the butt like shower, like a psh, the, the, the thing. Of course, you can clean the worst part of the shit of your ass <laughs> after taking a shit. But still, it's beautiful to have the dry ass in your underwear. So always make sure in these countries, even I still have them in my scooter, a squashed toilet paper for if I run into those moments that I really need to go badly to the toilet and at that moment of course I find that toilet in the middle of the jungle that doesn't have paper so be prepared <laughs> just like you need to be prepared for the Bitcoin bull market also be prepared that if you need to shit in the jungle that you need to take your own toilet paper there will be no monkeys bringing you this toilet paper and believe me banana leaves don't do the job I tried it it doesn't work I, once we were on the jungle trip, that was in Sumatra, Indonesia. Of course, we didn't take toilet paper. That was our first backpacking trip. And yes, I ended up to use banana leaf papers. And I know for sure they are scratchy and they don't clean the job like paper did. So that was the travel tip for the day. And again, a little bit of history about my life, how I grew up to become a traveler. Let's jump into the next part of the video now. And the next part of the video, guys, of course, is talking about one of the questions of you guys. The question was, Didi, what do you think that will happen to Bitcoin when we will see a recession in the second quarter of 2024? I don't know if he has a glass ball, but this person or he or she, I don't even know if it was a woman or a man or a them. <laughs> Again, yes, stop promoting that, Didi. They or had them. No, it's a him or her for me. But I don't know if they have a glass ball, but they are expecting a recession in 2024 in the second quarter of that year i don't expect a recession in that year but even if it would be a recession i don't believe it would do something to bitcoin because mostly in these huge parts of the year that we have a recession or a crisis these store of values like bitcoin like gold like silver they outperform any other asset class in the world so if you would stay in fiat currencies dollars euros you would be tremendously affected by a recession because the inflation that is created because of that recession will make your life feel like it's more expensive because you need to spend more dollars and euros to do your groceries and all the other stuff so this recession will hit all the dollar euro and other fiat currency minded people it won't hit those people that are smart and storing their capital in store of values that hold stronger than all those other asset classes. That is why gold has been used for decades to store value. That's why they call it a store of value. Bitcoin is the goal of the 21st century. People will use Bitcoin to escape those results of that recession, like inflation. That's why we are in Bitcoin, deflationary asset. From the halving in April 2024, Bitcoin will officially be more scarce than gold. Please print this in your head. 
from April 2024, Bitcoin will be more scarce than gold, officially. This is not something that everyone just is saying so. This is being calculated by economical people. More scarce than gold. So what do you think that the rich people are going to do? Why do you think the spot ETF will be approved in the beginning of 2024? They need a beautiful asset class that is even stronger than gold, that can fight recessions or inflation better than gold, and they need to be able to move quickly into that asset class with their capital. That is why the spot ETF will be approved in the beginning of 2024. And that is why all those rich people will start to diversify their capital slowly into the gold of the 21st century Bitcoin. And you just need to understand this and do exactly the same. That is how you will protect you, your family and all your loved ones from that massive inflation that that possible recession could create in 2024. It's simple as that. Bitcoin is the solution. And if you don't trust Bitcoin, then buy gold. Because Bitcoin and gold will both do better than fiat currencies. Believe me. Now, that was the answer to the question. Let's jump into the next part. For the next part, guys, I'm going to jump into a new place, a beautiful spot where I will talk about the news because I want to support these people. So let's take a jump together into that beautiful place to talk about some news that is not really crypto related, but I think it's very important as well. One, two, three, let's bam. Welcome guys to that special place I want to talk about the news. No crypto news for the days. Today, I'm talking about this news. Do you remember this place three weeks ago? I told you guys a restaurant, Project Artisan, was completely burned down. Completely burned down. It still is completely burned down. But within three weeks, they managed to build back stronger. It's beautiful to see what they are building again. I was here yesterday to have lunch again for the first time. They opened at 12. And I just wanted to share this news with you guys because I hope that the whole crypto community here in Phuket will support these people. It was one of the best restaurants out there and it completely got burned down. I'm going to show you some images of how it was burned down, but also how they are building back and how you now again can enjoy beautiful dinners and lunches and even a little bit breakfast in the mornings here at Project Artisan, guys. I know it is not crypto news, but look how devastating it was. Completely burned down. Everything. The bar area. Everything. Completely burned down, guys. It's terrible for this project because he had amazing wall paintings. It was just one of the most beautiful restaurants. But they start to plant new plants. They start to build back better, but then really build back better. <clears throat> I think they're even organizing some kind of a game day to day to raise some more funds because I see that they're preparing all kinds of games. But it is open again. So Project Artisan is open again. You can come back again for dinners, guys. And it's very beautiful. I will walk through it just to show you um, where it is and what it is. But I'm very proud on this owner for not giving up. And she put this beautiful sign outside of Project Artisan when they were burned down. And the sign was saying, yes, we burned down, but it doesn't mean we are burned out. And I think that's a very important lesson for life. Yes, you can be burned down. Yes, the whole house can burn down, your restaurant, your business, everything can burn down. But it doesn't mean that you are burned out. You can always build back better. You can become a stronger person. And that is what this project Artisan has been showing me now in the last three weeks, from being burned down to rebuilding and me being able to drink a fresh smoothie again in the early morning. I'm just gonna walk through it to show you a little bit what it became now. So you see, there's a lot of people working, so I don't wanna disturb them. So I wanna, I'm gonna walk through these people but without disturbing all of them. Right, let's see. So as you can see, they are building back very beautiful. So you should come support Project Artisan again, guys. Beautiful flowers, beautiful seats again. The restaurant area is now here in the beginning, near the street. They also built the kitchen and everything now here. So come for your delicious food again at Project Artisan. Really cool to see that they are building back this quickly in three weeks, guys. In three weeks time. Yesterday evening, of course, these flames were burning again in a positive way. And of course, the beautiful lights made a very romantic setting. 
So that is my news for today, guys. I know it's unusual. I know it's not crypto related, but as a person living in uh, Phuket, having seen this place being burned down, she didn't got burned out. She rebuilt the place. Within three weeks, people are again working. Their employees have a job. She's again providing all customers of beautiful smoothies, healthy food, a good vibe, live music in three weeks time. That's like very remarkable. And I think that um, deserves a short section of the news in today's video, guys. So now that was the news. Let's quickly jump back now into the beach. And we're back again on the beach, guys. Yes, talking about the last part of the video. Of course, the inspirational part, guys. And the inspirational part today is a very beautiful part, might I say myself. <laughs> like, the inspirational part today is about you. Because if you start to be yourself, you're putting something in the world that wasn't there before. That is the beautiful part of being yourself. If you are yourself, you're putting something new in the world that wasn't there before. It's very important to always be yourself. Be your true self. Don't be something that is a projection of what other people want you to be. Then you're not yourself. Then you're just what other people want you to be. And that is not something new. That is a copy or a combination of all those people that are reflecting themselves to you that you should be like the way they tell you to be. So that's not something new. That's just copying other people. That's copying other people's behavior. That's copying other people's like things. Why would you want to be that? If you can be completely something new in this world. So it's very important that you understand this in life. That if you are yourself, you're putting completely something new in the world. And that completely, not, and that completely new thing in the world is needed. Because then other people will look at you as if you are this new thing in the world that is doing new things. If you change your mindset because you really do what you feel, other people will be, of course, influenced by that. Because they will see, hey, it is possible to break that hamster wheel. Hey, it is possible to change your life. Hey, it is possible to earn an income by walking on the beach and talking about Bitcoin and life. That is all achieved because I started to become myself. I started to become who I really felt I needed to be. Not pretending to be what all those friends and families and all those people wanted me to be. I started to throw away that mask, bam, gone, with that fake personality, with that fake identity, with that fake mask, gone, and just started to act the way I really felt happy. I just started to be myself. And the moment I started to be myself, all these beautiful opportunities started to arise in my life and also, of course, in my family's lives. Because the moment you get into the flow, because you start to be yourself, because you're putting something new into this world, that is the moment that the thing I believe is the law of attraction will bring you all the things that you have been asking for. So you need to start asking for stuff and then let it go. So for me, talking about the law of attraction, guys, the most important part there is that you let go. Of course, it's very simple to visualize that you're already there and to visualize everything that you want to have and to ask the universe what you want to receive. Of course, that's the simple part. The difficult part is when you did that step, let go. Let it go, move on with your life. And then these things will start to happen uh, from itself but uh, I'm not like an inspirator I'm not like a mental coach or something like that but I've been reading a lot of books and I've been practicing a lot of these skills let's say like that in the last seven years as well and they seem to work perfectly for me but the thing that we are talking about is be yourself being yourself is putting something new in the world that wasn't there before and being yourself will change not only you but everyone around you because then they will see that all those possibilities that they thought that were impossible became possible because you put something new in the world which was yourself. And that is leading by example for other people to follow. And then maybe when everyone starts to be themselves again, 
not being that projection of what everybody wants you to be. But if everyone really starts to do how they feel, really start to live how they think they need to live, that could be the moment that the world slowly starts to change into a better place. As long as we are trying to be a projection of the news, the media, the family, your friends want you to be or wants us to be, and we don't listen to our gut feeling and we don't listen to our heart and we don't live the lives we should be living, we won't be able to change the world. We will be able to change the world when we all start to be ourselves. That was the interrational part of the video, guys. Also, the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about everything else, the news, and of course, also about the inspirational part. I wish you an amazing day, and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bam. And of course, guys, it's always about love. Everything is about love and life. Because love is all we need. Project Artisan.